Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then hello my name is Kate. I hope you're all doing really well and having a great week so far. So in today's video I have filmed my everyday makeup look which really focuses on naturally enhancing your features and really focusing on a clean clear flawless base. So I've included some OG products that I have used and loved for years alongside some new ones which are new releases that I cannot wait to talk to you guys about. And I'm super proud and excited to say that part of this video is sponsored by Bare Minerals which is a huge dream come true for me. They are one of my all time favourite makeup brands which I've been using for years and years and years. All of their products are super clean and just great for your skin. And as you guys know I am such a big fan especially of their foundations and a new product that I will be going into later on in this video so without further ado let's get on with it hello guys so this is my naked face just gonna pin my hair back i used curlers today for the first time in ages you guys know me i'm normally just use my dyson but today i use curlers and i'm really feeling it i'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit and i'm gonna start off by priming my face with a product that i've recently really discovered this is the bare minerals complexion rescue in soft radiance and i bought this a couple of years ago and i ended up using the whole thing and then i never repurchased it because i had other products i wanted to use up and just like trial out and stuff and i try to mix up my makeup products and discover new things because it is part of my job and i like sharing things with you guys but then they really sent me this one um, a few weeks ago and I've just fallen back in love with it. It is so good. So it has SPF 30 protecting you from the sun but it's also got protection against blue light which I didn't even realise was a thing. I didn't know you had to be protected against blue light but apparently it can cause premature aging which is brilliant because I sit in front of a screen all day long and it also protects against pollution as well. Um, so overall it's just a really great skincare product and as you can see it's just really evened out my skin tone and just creates a really nice hydrating base for the rest of your makeup to go on top of. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. The first question that's popped up is do you use SPF every day? If so, which one? And the answer is yes because I use retinol and I use a lot of products that are acid exfoliators which basically means your skin is going to be a lot more prone to sun damage. So I either use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, but like I said, this has only been for the last two weeks or something, or I'll use my Skin Cuticles SPF 50, and those two are my favourite SPFs by far. They just sit so well under makeup, and they're very moisturising as well. The next product I'm going to use is the Bare Minerals Original Concealer, and as you guys probably know, the only concealer I have used in the last year is the Rimmel Lasting Radiance. Massive fan of it, but never found anything that... Was that the doorbell? that's a doorbell. Sorry about that. As I was saying, I haven't found a concealer that beats the Rimmel Lasting Radiance until this one. This one is incredible. Yeah, I still love the Rimmel, but this definitely is my new favourite. So I do three dots here. You only need the tiniest, tiniest bit. I made the mistake of going fully in the first time I used this, not realising how pigmented it is and how far a little bit goes. Um, oh, and I wear this in the shade Fair One Then. Um, so I just blend this in with my finger and I just love how creamy it is it's not drying at all it doesn't crease but it's also just got such good coverage as you can see it's just got rid of any redness any dark circles like the difference between this eye and this eye another question was about the new guidelines and the new rules with the use of filters when filming like beauty makeup skincare ads on Instagram and YouTube and what my thoughts were on it and honestly I think it's such a positive thing I think it's really important as well for the viewer to be able to see how the product really applies onto the skin and seeing real skin not this perfectly filtered blurry filter and don't get me wrong I love the Paris filter on Instagram it's the filter that you swipe across one on Instagram stories and it just blurs everything um, so I usually use that but I don't use it on skincare videos, I don't use it on makeup videos because I do think it is misleading and I'd hate it for somebody to watch my videos and use the same products as me and think why does Kate's skin look like that and mine doesn't. I'm just going to zoom you guys back out because yeah that is effectively false advertising. But yeah I think it's a really positive thing and hopefully a step in the direction to more transparency online. So for foundation I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I wear this in the shade Golden Beige and honestly I just think Bare Minerals foundations are the best. They're probably my favourite. 
just because they are so natural and so buildable coverage wise. So what I do with this one is I just pour a bit into the lid and then using their beautiful finished brush, which is specifically designed for this foundation, um, as you can see, it's kind of got a dent in the middle, which really helps with swirling it around and it just kind of catches all of the mineral foundation and just gives you that really even coverage. This was actually the first foundation I ever bought. My mum wouldn't let me have the Dream Matte Mousse, so I went for this one. So I can definitely thank my mum for that because <laughs> this is a brilliant foundation. It's also very good for your skin. It's just really clean. So the coverage, like I said, is very buildable. So you can really give yourself a very natural finish or you can give yourself quite a high coverage as well. Um, I'm going to show you both so you guys can see. Other Bare Minerals foundations I love are the stick foundation. Um, I used it in my last Get Ready With Me, I'll link it down below. The stick foundation is a lot more dewy. Whereas this, as you can see, it's a little bit more matte, but not so matte that you don't have any definition in your face. It's um, still got a bit of a natural skin finish to it. I also love their gel cream and I use that specifically in the summer because it's so natural and so hydrating. It's just the best product. But the powder foundation is a brilliant one for every day because it lasts all day long and you honestly just can't feel a thing on your face, which is so lovely. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So this is just one layer of the foundation and as you can see, you can see my skin underneath but it's just really evened out my complexion and given it that flawless look. So just to show you, I'm just going to go in with another layer. Okay, and then this is two layers. So I really think the mix between the concealer and the foundation are a really great duo just because this is so good at covering any blemishes if you have spots or scarring, dark circles, redness and this just combats that and then this just gives you the overall really flawless look without being at all cakey and unnatural looking. So I think these two, they are the dream combo and my new faves. So for brows I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals Brow Master in the shade Coco and this is what I've been using ever since I got it um, a year or so ago. I ran out of this at Christmas time and I had to use another product and it made me realize how much I love this one. It's just the best one I've ever used and I haven't found anything to beat it yet. It's also very handy that it has a spoolie at the end. Another question was how do I motivate myself when I'm not feeling it? I've said this before but honestly I just remind myself of my goals and this can be by writing all of my goals down um, on a piece of paper, looking at vision boards, looking at Pinterest boards, making new vision boards and it just really reminds myself that if I don't work and I don't work towards these goals, those goals aren't gonna happen. And to me, that's just the biggest motivation, knowing that I am in complete control of my life and my future. And I won't get those things that I want if I don't stay productive. And those always just motivate me straight away. So it doesn't have to be career focus. It could be like, for example, if you want the motivation to work out, go onto Pinterest, look at, like workout motivation, look at workout quotes and just remind yourself of why you are doing what you're doing. So with my brows, I just follow the natural shape where the hair is and then I just go in a little bit here and here just because I feel like it frames the face nicely. And what I love about this tiny little brush is that you can really do those hair strokes which are very fine and natural looking. And that's what I do at the front. And yeah, just going back to the motivation thing as well, sometimes you can lose motivation when you're a bit burnt out. So you might just need one of those days where you just recoup, have a self-care day, look after yourself, and that can leave you feeling really refreshed, re-energized, and like ready to attack all over again. And then sometimes what I do, if I think it looks a bit kind of dense and you can see a strong line, I'll just go over the spoolie just to soften it out a bit. I'll then go in with my Bare Mineral Strength and Length Brow Gel. Here's what it looks like. As you can see, it's just got this tiny little like comb-like head. And this just sets the brows into place and it's also infused with serum. So supposedly it's gonna make your eyebrows grow. But to be honest, I don't think my eyebrows grow. They've always been very fine and short. Either way, it's a really good brow gel and it definitely sets it into place and just makes those hairs look a little bit thicker and bushier and mine need all of the help they can get. So to contour and bronze, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Original Concealer in the shade Dark Deep. This is the same concealer as I used at the start, um, just in a darker color. I just do three little dots because 
first time I used this, I went in like a normal creamy contour. And like I said before, a little bit goes such a long way. So don't go overboard. It's better to go little and then build up. As you can see, it's very, very pigmented. Oh, and I'm just blending this in with my blooming brush by Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals honestly do the best brushes. I'd say 90% of my brushes are Bare Minerals because they're just so soft and lovely. They last forever as well. I'm also going to apply a bit to my forehead just where the sun would naturally hit. I know it looks a bit scary right now, but don't worry, it does blend. Somebody asked me to talk about my time living in Australia. Um, I always get questions about this, but I don't think I really ever answer them for some reason. It's not intentional. So when I was, I think I was 20, I had the opportunity to study abroad in Australia. So I went and lived in Melbourne for a bit. And at the time I was single. I really didn't have any commitments other than uni. And I just kind of thought this is the perfect opportunity for me to live abroad and just gain some life experience, do something that's gonna really challenge me. So I applied and I got through and it was very much spur of the moment. I really didn't think about it. All I was thinking about is, Kate, you have to do this. So I think I applied in like December and I was due to go around April. And between December and April, I didn't think about it at all because I was living at home at the time, I was commuting from Brighton to London to go to uni, so it was a huge move, I'd never moved out of my family home before, and I think my way of coping with the scariness of it was just to push it to the back of my head and just not think about it at all. Oh, and quickly, I'm just going to go in with this shade here, which is called Native, and that is in the Bare Minerals Neutrals palette. This palette is so stunning. It's this beautiful kind of like ashy brown color, and I'm just gonna apply this using my Morphe E23 brush. Again, this is so pigmented, so go in very lightly, and then you can build it up, but it's a beautiful, very natural, color that I'm obsessed with and I normally go in just with like whatever bronzer I use on my eyelids but recently I've been using this and I've just been really enjoying it anyway what was I saying so yeah I think it got to like a couple weeks before I was supposed to move to Australia and I kind of realized oh my god I haven't like booked accommodation I haven't booked flights so it was all very last minute of me but that was the best thing I think because I would have definitely have overthought about it and given myself loads of anxiety if I had just really planned. I was very adamant on like supporting myself through this. I didn't really want help from my parents. But luckily I also had a bit of student loan as well that I'd been saving because I'd saved for so much money from living at home. Um, my train ticket was really cheap. I think it was like 10 quid or something like that to commute. So I saved a lot of money from that. Um, I had that grant, so I had that bit of money and that paid for my flights and like my first month accommodation. And then really luckily, just before I moved to Australia, I got a contract with ASOS um, doing their petite modeling. And then that gave me a little bit more money to save. But again, completely winging it. Like I had no idea how I was going to afford living there. But yeah, I think these things always just work out somehow. And then I arrived and I didn't know a single person there. I was on my own for a week, I think, before I spoke to anyone. I, that was probably one of the best weeks of my life. I just walked around the city. I'm really overdoing the size shadow now because I'm telling a story. Yeah, I walked around the city, I explored, I had lunch, breakfast, dinner on my own. It was so much fun and it was so like liberating as well. Like no one knew me and I could just do what I wanted. Just quickly as well, I'm going to line my lash line um, using this color here, which is Indie, which is a beautiful chocolate brown color. Using this brush here, which is the Bare Minerals Expert Shadow and Liner Brush. It's really great, hard, angled side and it's also got this kind of flat paddle brush on the other side which I use for concealer and carving out my brows sometimes. Okay we're up very close and personal now. I eventually got to know people through uni and just kind of like various things. I also signed to a modeling agency and I met quite a lot of people through that as well which is really nice and then I managed to kind of do modeling really to pay my bills which is brilliant but yeah if anyone's thinking about I mean obviously we can't um, travel at the moment but if anyone is thinking about doing solo traveling or considering doing a year abroad 100% do it because I learned so much about myself and then as always I'm gonna slightly wing it out going towards this is kind of like the aim just the end of my eyebrow I just aim towards there and I don't go any further than my pupil I just kind of do it halfway and I find this really just opens the eyes up and, and gives you that slight cat eye look that I love. 
For mascara, I'm going to go to my all-time favourite, which is the Marc Jacobs at Lash Mascara. It's really funny because I just watched my last makeup tutorial I did on my Instagram, which was actually this time last year. Um, obviously before everything kicked off with COVID. And in the video I said, <laughs> I said B and I have been really struggling to go out at the moment because it's so cold and it's just really dead. Um, no one wants to go out. Oh my God, I just think, imagine if we knew what we were about to go into. Our attitudes would have just been so different. It's crazy how much we used to take things for granted, like going out. One positive we can take from lockdown and this whole situation this year and last year is I think everyone's going to be so much more grateful for friends and family and being able to spend time with them in normal circumstances. I am so excited to go back to normality and go out for cocktails and go out for brunch. Oh, I just cannot wait. So excited. I'm mainly excited to go see my family and my close friends and just give them a really, really big hug. Oh my God, look what I've just done. A tip for when you do this with your mascara is to leave it and let it dry and then just brush it off. I always give a little bit more attention to these corner lashes because I like them to be winged out slightly. I just think this suits my eye shape the most. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the one I always use, which is the iconic London Sheer Blush. I don't know what's happened here. It's suddenly got this like black rectangle. I'm not sure why, but I just apply a tiny amount to my finger. I've done this a million times with you guys. And then apply this to the cheeks. And this is just the most beautiful natural colour that just looks so pretty and so healthy. I just keep on blending until I'm happy. And I like to blend this up, going kind of towards my temples. It just has quite a lifting effect, lifting your face up rather than dragging it down. And then I apply a little bit to my nose as well, just to tie it all in and give you that quite flushed look. So I'm not gonna go in with a highlighter because as you can see, it's quite a natural glowy look already. Um, but I'm just gonna go in with this shade here, which is called Mystic, using the blender brush by Bare Minerals and just highlight my brow bone which will make your brows pop a little bit more and I'm just going to go in the inner corner as well which will brighten the eyes up too. I think it makes me look a little bit more awake and then I'm going to pop a little bit at the end of my nose to give it that slight button look. For lips I'm going to go in with my Rimmel London liner in the shade Tiramisu. For once not using my Leon liner by NYX, that's the normal one I go for but the last month I've been using this one. Um, ignore how blunt it is, I could not find my sharpener so this is going to have to do. By the way I'm wearing my Invisalign whilst filming and I don't normally do that because I just normally find it quite distracting but with my latest aligners they aren't quite so big and invasive so it's a little bit easier. But I line underneath like that. I don't overline the corners though because I find that makes it look like you've overlined your lips rather than natural. And then I overline the top a tiny bit. And then again, following the natural line to the corner. And then for gloss, using the one I have been using for for years, which is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This is just so hydrating, it's creamy, it's the most beautiful colour. I am obsessed. Quickly go in with this shade here again and line the inner bit of my eye. Just because I feel like it leaves a little bit more definition and it just makes the mascara look a little bit more seamless. And I haven't set anything in place with powder or setting spray just because I feel like I don't need to with this look. Um, I've been wearing this every day and it lasts so well. And I don't really tend to get very oily, but if I do get a bit oily, I normally go in with the Rimmel London Stay Matte because it's so easy. It's pretty much transparent and it just looks very natural. And you can literally just blot any shine very easily. So yeah, that is the end of my makeup look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've been loving filming it. I feel like I've just been sat chatting to my friends. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's just a very, very natural, but still kind of glam look. And today I have put on slightly more makeup than normal, just because I wanted to show you guys how the foundation is buildable and give you all a good idea of the products and how you can use them. But yeah, I'm obsessed and I'm so happy to have found my favorite new concealer, which not only just performs amazingly, but is also very clean and good for your skin. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I will get back to you. I hope you will have a lovely rest of your day. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you next time. Bye.